Ooh, what up, gang? Gang. Ah. Welcome back to another episode of the Telltale Batman series with Bruce Wayne. It's me. It's him. There's the Batmobile. And there's the we're in the Bat Cave. Boop. Episode one. Yeah, so we did the intro last time in episode one. Now we're actually in episode one doing shit. Realm of Shadows. Is that our opera tickets? Jesus Christ, Bruce. Get over it already. You're like 40. Thank you, Batman. Let's see what she was really after. Hmm. Okay, we can actually move around now for the first time. Whoa, look at this. Oh, well, I was going fast there. Ooh. All right. I don't want to look at that. I want to look at other stuff. It's the Bat Cave. I want to look at other stuff. I want to go over here. They won't let me go over here. Okay, fine. I don't want to go over here. I want to examine the Batmobile. Let me examine the Batmobile. <clears throat> oh yeah, push to start. That's the stuff. <laughs> push that button, start the car. And now I guess we go back up here, because there's nothing else over there besides the Batmobile. Let's look at my gadgets table. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Smoke pellets. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. I'm just testing out smoke. What the hell? Jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Trace detection. Can program Yo, it's our drones. Elements in a confined space. It's the battering. <laughs> battering. There it is. Refine the edge. Could be sharper. All right, look at my gadgets. Now, I would like to look at my suit. My suit absorbed look at that. damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Goddamn police are men. My cow. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. My man Lucius Fox. Movie tickets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his I like that. I like how he's not saying anything, so if you don't know Batman, you'll, you'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks. What if all of a sudden he was looking at it during the uh, sequence where we got in here and he wasn't saying anything? He's all sad. What if all of a sudden. I walked over to him and looked at him. He's like, "This is where my parents died." <laughs> that would have been fucking great. I don't want to watch the main screen, actually. Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham 
Alright. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we what can is make this? a dent on those crime. What is we fell off a building for this? There it is. Okay, Harvey Dent. Uh, access Gotham feed. The the Dent pressures mayor to decree vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stance against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in the citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking victim assistance program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. Police Lieutenant Tap to lead task force. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld had recently increased at an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, LT Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of the nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing in mass in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unknown as we will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the C. GCPD, and has quickly risen to the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. Channel Bomb Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for the new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, often dead time, oftentimes deadly prisoners' cases. So soon, that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement and with, the, with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Uh, ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Boy, that was long. I'm not going to read anything like that ever again. But for the first one, I will. Just for you. And I read it quite fast, so you don't have to wait too long. Uh, let's look at the codex. Oh. I'm good. Let's analyze this data port. Whoa. The bat chair. <coughs> Why? Why does it have to come out of the floor? There is no purpose for that to come out of the floor. That's so fucking stupid. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. I in like front these of computers. Kids. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Cat woman. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. The hell? This is a map of the east side shoreline, but it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Holy shit, look at that. In the meantime, I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah. The same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. 
But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Dickhead. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I played it was him. a keep your enemies closer situation. Hopefully not close enough to stab you in the back. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. This seems to be uh, very new in Batman's career. I'll check the codex. Because he's still Lieutenant Gordon. That's one. Oh, I gotta look at the cat burglar, huh? Look at the codex. Who's this? That's the penguin? Yo, the penguin's kinda sexy, though. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and then our paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname. The Penguin. What happened to you, Oz? Yeah, yeah. Vicky. Oh, it's Vicky Vale. <laughs> Carmine, Gotham, alright. Let's uh, scroll through all of these, see what you, you can see all the people. Found her. Oh. New criminal on the scene. Tried to several tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't have many doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. Wish I knew more about her. Mayor Hill, Harvey, Alfred. Ah. Uh. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Ah! <laughs> step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. Don't compare me to her. Compared to a calm criminal. Now, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but no one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale you, uh, your injuries. So what I know of my secret identity. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. The city needs me. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. <laughs> oh, yes. You <laughs> drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Oz. Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Not been Oswald so Cobblepot. We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. I love that Nathan Drake is just Batman. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. It's not a coincidence. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but it was the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. Young Master I'd Cobblepot. You to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Hmm. I guess we're going to the park now. Yay, it's park time. Oh, trophy. The one that got away. 
Yeah, so I only played up to, uh, to Falcone, I think. So all this is new for me. Boy. Gotham really has come down. Cobblepot Park. Where are you, Watson? <laughs> oh. Let's look at, uh, this newspaper. Bruce Wayne associates with fucking Falcone. I don't, though. He showed up to my party and I, I was amicable. <laughs> Sad graffiti. Walk up the stairs. Hmm. Give change. Uh, thank you, sir. Dude, don't even realize I'm fucking Bruce Mother Flippin' Wayne. No, don't walk back down the stairs. I don't. Uh, actually, you know what? What's over here? I can't walk over here, can I? Nope. Let's walk back up the stairs. Do 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 do. All right. What's in this burning barrel? <sighs> I think I just saw a cobble pot. Okay, that was stupid. Running late, meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but no eyes. I saw him standing there. He's right. Oh. Huh. Guess it's not him. Somebody else. Why are there shopping carts here? Hey, smoking dude. What up, dude? Hey, man. Hey. Beat it. Hey, I'll beat your ass. Talk to me like that, dickhead. What's up here? Nothing. Look at this graffiti. I say gang on it. Yo, gang. What up, gang? Gang. That don't say gang. Look at the plaque. Oh, that isn't what it used to be. Pot Park. More graffiti. <laughs> this is the opposite of gentrification. <laughs> Statue. So what? That's his dad. His dad's the penguin. The the person we actually think the penguin would look like. Watch. Wallet cash. But this goes through you. Oh, hello, smoking man. Hey, you heard it, man. Try and Go take ahead. it. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here. I think that'll do. Up. Punching his fucking stomach. No. Oh, you got a gun, huh? I'll take that. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Out the way. <laughs> Run into the statue, idiot. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? No, I 
might. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. <laughs> Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Thanks for the help. Oh, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This yeah. park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, mom and dad, they put so much work in here. You're right. Oh, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. But the frame rate weird issue in this game is weird. This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Yeah. I'm, sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Yes. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... He wasn't invited. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. You, huh? Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. This is true. I am very rich. It starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, not your enemy. It's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. What does that even mean, Oswald? Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Well, now we go be Bruce Wayne. I guess we are Bruce Wayne still, but that was a very Batman esque conversation. Now, we go be Bruce Wayne. We go be the philanthropist. We open this new hospital, Arkham Asylum, new Bruce and Wayne and Martha and Thomas and Martha. That's what it's called. <laughs> God, he's fucking massive. Oh shit, yo, it's the Red Batmobile. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, slick. over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, 
Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a message. breeding ground for the criminally insane. Need to talk. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And we're mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even mm -hmm. more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Yes. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents My would be parents honored. loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Together with this facility, we change with Gotham. Our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Yes, I'm a uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? This day has passed. I think passed. Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Falcone's no fake friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Boom. Next question, please. I'm going to take my stance please there. Keep your questions on topic, people. Because we're here about the hospital, remember? Ignore. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I doubt your evidence. Anyone else received this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne and Source is wrong. <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? How long has your family been Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Okay. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, fuck. Well, I'd say <laughs> that's as good a time as any.
to end this episode. Sorry, but the police are inside the manor. And that's a good little cliffhanger for you. And we're about 30 minutes in. If we go any longer, if we let this scene go on, it'll probably last 10, 15 minutes. We'll be overtime that I'd like. So, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, become a Patreon patron so you can get this episode a week early. Well, not this episode because you're watching on YouTube. But if you're watching on the Patreon, then I, this message is not for you. But if you're watching on YouTube right now, you can get next week's episode a week early. If you want to see what happens with the police inside of uh, Wayne Manor. Along with all subsequent episodes a week early. Uh, but if not, that's fine. Just wait till next week. There will be another episode. That's it for this week's though. So, thank you for watching. And I'm out of here! T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U Thank you. Thank you. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U Thank you, guys.